enjoying life. I know, one of us usually sucks. Okay. Hello, wonderful ETTM community. Hello, ladies. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've it's done it. It's been a while <laughs> since we, yeah, we scared ourselves when we came on camera. It's been, it has been a little bit of uh, a little while. Yes. So, what would you like to talk about today? I'm very excited about how our conference went. Can we talk about that? Oh, I, I mean, what, we, we haven't stopped talking about I it. Know, ever. I know, I <laughs> know. Every chance we get, so I just um, want to talk about it again. I just, am, I'm, I personally am just, I'm, first of all, I'm really proud of you. And I'm proud of you. Oh. Oh. Um, I think that the hard work that everybody put into it really paid off. Um, you know, the sponsors were very happy. Even we our were, speakers are thanking us. They're emailing us and saying how great it was. It has how awesome been is that? nonstop. I mean, and I, I've said to many people over the past two weeks, you know, the fact that you and I were actually able to sit down and enjoy the day says a lot of the work that went behind the scenes because I felt that it was very organized. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we had freaked each other out in the process. What are you doing that for? What are you doing that for? And it was just a matter of going on trusting each other and knowing that, you know, we were both, uh, we had the vision in place and knew how the day, what kind of day we wanted to have. Um, but still today, this morning, I was reading on Facebook just comments from people saying, oh my God, this is such a wonderful and empowering event. Uh, the beauty of, of things like that, what, what happens is that now, uh, we're, we're really, we really got ourselves in, in, to, in a pinch because we've also been nonstop making plans for next year. Exactly. So the exactly. planning has we already We already have <laughs> dates, which we could tell them the dates now because we want everybody to Oh, absolutely. To be, yes. It's October 11th and 12th. Yes. It's we've Friday turned, we've and turned Saturday. it into a two-day event. Two days. Uh, because now we just have to make it our lives even more difficult. Exactly. Uh, that but was Vanessa's it, idea. But it's uh, a good idea. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. I think that I, I it think shortens that, the days, but it gives you more substance because you could have people speak no, but to you more than once. And but the thing is, also, I felt that there was a lot more things that we could we wanted to do workshops with the group that, think tanks, um, yeah. that we didn't have time to do. So it's going to allow us to do that yeah. and um, just you know give the 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 conference a different spin. Um, we already know three of our speakers. We could yeah. say them: Patty Farmer. <laughs> Why can't we can tell we everybody? say that? We could say Patty. Patty, Patty Farmer, said yes. Um, Jennifer Longmore. And what does Jennifer teach? Uh, Jennifer is all about money, uh, soul journeys, uh, you know, and, and we, we are going to be focusing. We're going to give obviously be giving the, the, the conference a, the, a business spin, you know, bringing in more business topics because that's what we were all um, really – but I love how the, how the speakers just tied it all in. You, I mean, it was just a day – of, I mean, if you missed it, I'm really sorry you did because it was really, really great. So you want to <laughs> blank out your calendar for next year from now because yeah. you don't want to miss it. And our holiday party on December 6th. We're having a holiday party. It's a networking holiday extravaganza. We don't just have parties. Yeah. And it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a girls' night out. Um, I'm encouraging everybody to bring their spouses. Yeah. Because it should be fun. I it's think that's Josh they should meet us. Yeah, my husband's going to come. I think people should bring bring their spouses to see what the group's all about. Yeah. Since I'm sure people talk about it at home. Yeah. And my husband loves to meet the ladies, and I think it's good to have them around and bring friends. Um, and tickets are online already, so you could go on to our website and buy tickets for that. Forty nine dollars. Right the early bird special is going to go on for a couple more weeks. Um, food. But food is included. Our th- your first cocktail is on us, and um, it's going to be a really wo- wonderful night. Fireplace. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's going to be cool. Yeah. All right. So we have a special guest here with us today, and she is um, an original ETTM member, and she is a small business financial expert. She's one of the first. She's <laughs> one of our first members. I think she was a member before I even met Vanessa. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> so we have Marcy Cortez here today. We're all going out tonight, by the way, to uh, party and network to a pink party. So I'm going to put Marcy over here so you yeah. can see her. Okay. Welcome, Marcy. Welcome, Marcy. To our show. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. It's a pleasure to be here. 
Awesome. I'm not in pink, but I have pink nail polish. <laughs> and pink lips. She has and pink, pink lips. lips and pink nail closer. It's all good. We're very <laughs> close. Very <laughs> close. <laughs> close. <laughs> you see, it's a good thing I'm not in pink because then we'd have three shades of pink. Right. Now and you stand out perfectly. It would be contradictory. Oh, yeah. That's not mesh. That's yeah. right. Right. Now okay. we're in sync. See, we did we're this on sync, purpose. Right. But you're not in. <laughs> I'm trying. You're trying. It's a little tiny screen. But okay. Can't have everything. So, Marcy, Guess tell Holly. me how you became a member, because Vanessa doesn't even know, because you were here first. So, how were I you I kind of know the story, but yeah. All right. Yeah. I did a mailing for my company, which is LAI Financial Services. We provide um, accounting, bookkeeping, payroll tax services to the small business person, small business community. And in my mailing, I addressed the letter to Primerica, Michael Barbieri. And got a phone call from Lynette, and she said, really don't need your services. However, I think we should get together and talk. And thus it started. And, and I, that rest is history. It <laughs> absolutely is. And you ladies were talking about the conference, and I loved it. Yeah. I have to say, the thing that I liked the most was the way it flowed. Yeah. You know, it wasn't just sitting for hours and hours. The speakers were great, yeah. but you never know when you go to a conference yeah. how great or not great speakers are going to be. And yeah. some, sometimes it gets so long that yeah. it, it's exhausting. Right. Yeah. It is. It's exhausting. You start getting sleepy. Yep. You're sitting yeah. there. But here the speakers spoke just the right length of time. Yeah. And then we did networking sessions in between each one. So yeah. it really worked out well. Got to meet a lot of great people. Awesome. Heard terrific speakers. I started reading Mike's book. Yes. Yay. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> I really like that. Yeah. Um, I didn't has, get one. I have to get one. <laughs> yeah. I got the toilet paper entrepreneur that day too oh, because did? I want to read both of them. Oh, yeah. I haven't read that one yet. You know, baby steps. Know. Baby, oh, steps. No, baby steps. You know baby what you steps. said about networking in between when Vanessa um, was going over the schedule with me? She was like, "What did you call them?" Connection sessions. She called them connection sessions, and it was like, "We're going to do this, and then we have 15 minutes, and we're going to do this, and we have 15 minutes." And I'm like, "Why?" Like. <laughs> Why? I don't. I don't. I could see like lunch and you know a fifteen minute break in between, but why? And I have to admit that it was genius because the people felt that they got all the networking done they possibly can get, right? Because a Absolutely. lot of places in the morning you talk to people, and if you're lucky in the end to run up to people. Yeah. And uh, I think that the speakers got to interact with. The well, people. one of the things that I, you know, when we were discussing how the how the network the the conference was going to flow you know and you have been to many conferences I'm sure you have as well and so have I you know one of the one of the glitches that I had always found over the years was god you know because I'm, I'm such a driver myself and I like approaching the person who just got up right. the stage I always found it to be a missed opportunity to not get that to not get that opportunity right. you know to right. just approach the person and just say oh my god what you said was so on point, or I, I'm going to go get your book, or can I shake your hand? Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're all about connecting and building relationship. And if somebody really touched you when they spoke to you, how about thanking them right there on the spot? You know, it, it was kind of like you have the opportunity. And I know that a lot of the women in our groups don't have the opportunities to go to New York and see these people. Because a exactly. lot of these people are speaking, you know, far away. They have small children, yep. uh, whatnot. And then um, to have access to, to these uh, powerhouses, you know, we're all powerhouses in our own, uh, in our own little hubs. But, of course, these people speak professionally, and, you know. And just to have access to that and to be able to say, oh, my God, you were just amazing. And I think that that's what made it all the more special, you know. And, and I'm glad that we were able to put in that element uh, because that's one of, the, one of the favorite things of the day was those yep. little sessions in between that people got to just mingle and, and chat. Absolutely, and I was one of the people that, vendors who had a table. Yeah. So initially when we had the sessions, when we first started in the morning, obviously I'm standing at my own table. Yeah. And I'm meeting people that yeah. way, but everybody had to come over to me. Yeah. I sell a service, not yeah. a product. Yeah. People are more inclined to go to the table that had... Nicole's cookies yeah. at it, right? Um, or makeup, or right? Makeup, or or was it your cousin that was selling pretty scarves? Yeah, my husband's cousins. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they weren't as inclined to come to me. But yeah. whereas by the afternoon session, I felt my stuff is out on the table. If they want to know about me, they're going to find me. Yeah. And I took one of the sessions as an opportunity to go around, especially the other side of the room, yeah. because people on my side of the room I had spoken to, I knew a lot of them. Yeah. So it just it gave everybody the opportunity to interact. You weren't just <laughs> 
a vendor that was yeah. standing there stuck behind her table. Well, right. so that's just the kind of networking I feel that, you know, a lot of us have been used to over the years. And I know that a lot of the vendors were like, where, where, where's my chair? You know, where's my chair? I'm like, no, you have a chair at a table, a table. just like everybody else. Right, right. And you'll, we'll get to that, right. you know? And I'm I glad was saying that. I'm like, where's everybody sit? sitting? Right. She goes, but they're not going to sit at the table. They're only there it for a little bit. It was great because yeah. it, yeah. and it encouraged you to do that. Yeah. If you had I'm the chair, standing. they might not have left the table. They right. might have they stayed there longer. They would have been longer. static. Right. right. And I met people <laughs> sitting at the table I was at. I exactly. mean, I was with people that I knew, but I also was with people that I had never met before, yeah. just friends yeah. and friends, and was able to interact. So, so you so got the most out of it. So two-day conference this year, right? Okay. Next year. Oh, yeah. we're going to get work done at these conferences, too. And, and Patty Farmer, was um, she's a social networking uh, expert, and she was on one of our radio shows. So she wants to fly in from Texas to come Whoa. do this for us yeah. for both days. Yeah. So it's, this group is gonna, really becoming uh, something, guys. Yeah. Yeah. And she found uh, us yeah. online. And she so found us online. We want to be the original member that sticks with us forever. <laughs> so, Marcy, I want to get to you. You're a small business financial specialist. Marcy's actually going to start writing an article um, on being the go-to person for small businesses in our circular. I am. You are. Yes. We talked about that. I said, if I could do money talks and Vanessa could do hers, you need to do yours. I need to do mine. You're yeah. a specialist. So tell us, what do you specialize in and what types of businesses do you serve? I serve any business that comes along. The beauty of accounting is that you're not necessarily a specialist where I, I know about the makeup business mm -hmm. or I know about, you know, restaurants. I know the knowledge that I have is the kind of thing that expands to all businesses. I have 25 plus years of experience in corporate accounting, um, got sick of that rat race, <laughs> decided I was tired of working 70 and 80 hours a week for somebody else when I could do it for myself. Absolutely. And so I started doing this about a little over two years ago, mm -hmm. and I love it. I love dealing with the small business entrepreneur who's who's going through their own struggles. Yeah. You know, they have their own issues, but I like being able to help them, you know, to to sit and brainstorm with them and try to help them find ways to solve a problem. I was doing that with somebody this morning. That's what I love to do. I'm a QuickBooks specialist. It means I've gotten certification through a QuickBooks organization. I typically do people's books in QuickBooks, and I do it several ways. Either they come to me and say, Here's my computer. Enter it all on my computer. No problem. Okay. The, the only negative to that is if you ask me a question later on, I don't have the actual right. you don't hard, have the hard, right. hard information. Um, the vast majority of my clients give me their paperwork. Some cases they email it to me or I go and pick it up typically. Um, they give me their information. I put it into the system. Typically, for a small business person, a quarterly statement is what suffices for them. I also do payroll for people, some on a weekly basis, some on a bi-weekly basis. Now, you could do somebody as small as one person who's starting up a business. Absolutely. It doesn't have to be five or ten employees. Absolutely not. And the, typically, the clients that I serve, one of my clients who I just do payroll for, um, averages about 20 people per payroll. Okay. But he's a summer heavier in the summer business, more seasonal in the summer, although it does go all year round. It's a party business. Mm -hmm. um, so in his case, you know, it's however many people he has. But then my typical client where I'm doing the books, usually if a company has more than 10 people, they're probably going to hire a bookkeeper, an accountant, okay, et cetera. So can but, you work with their accountant if their accountant needs absolutely. information? Absolutely. I've worked with people's accountants. I've done the work for them. I've... Uh, you know, work in conjunction with them. They tell me what they're looking for. Maybe somebody, somebody, uh, an accountant friend of mine called up and we really hadn't worked together. And he said, I have a client who has a mess of their books. I've tried to dig through it. It's going to cost him way too much for me to do it for him. You know, he'd have to be charging his CPA's prices. Of course, mm -hmm. yeah. Whereas I have more reasonable rates, and yeah. I was able to go in and recreate things, and it turned out there were duplicates and triplicates and, you know, that kind of thing, but okay. I helped them identify it. We can work through the works. Okay. Payroll, do payroll taxes, because that's all part of part of the game, W-2 is at your end. Yeah. I do personal and corporate business yeah. taxes. Okay. I see it now. The title is Marcy Cortez. Let's see. Know your small business. Small business. We have to come up with something good <laughs> on our, no, on our way will. to our party tonight. We, we have to come up with a name. We will. I want to know um, how, join, since joining the group, 
um, how you know since joining UCTM, and I and I'm and I don't mean this to be as a pitch to the group, but I want. I, I, it's okay. It's your show. You're allowed to do a pitch. No, to the group. but what, and we're no, all part of it. No, so. but but the the really great thing is that you know that we're. I mean, at least I think that we're as real as it gets. I mean, I'm as honest as it gets. I know that you Absolutely. are. Absolutely. I know that you are, don't too. Don't let us get away with anything. <laughs> See? And on camera. I don't. I, we don't get let them get away. Right. Um, but since joining the group, how has that, you know, ser- has it served your business? Has it served uh, you personally, professionally? Uh, how do you feel the group has helped you? Uh Again, not only in your own personal business, but you know, with with the other group members, how has that um, how how has the experience been for you? The experience has been wonderful. I love this group. I did try two other groups about the same time and very quickly left them. Yeah, uh, it has uh, it's helped me develop relationships with other people. But when we sit and we do our, our brainstorming and our think tank, yeah. it's wonderful. I have a problem. I bring it to the group. Yeah. They help me solve it. It's yeah. people that are going through similar experiences to me. So that's been great. You guys, you know, we know you charge a fortune. No, I'm only teasing. You've had great don't training scared. sessions. Do they get... really are not a fortune. They, um, <laughs> great great cha- training sessions, yeah. you know, helped us a lot. I was not a Facebook user. I developed a Facebook page personally because my kid shamed me into it. And you and fixed your She's on it website, every right? day. And I know. She's, she's on it every know. day. And, and I'm on it all the time. And- I love I'm it. on it all the time. And I set up a business Facebook yeah. page, too. You know, have I expanded that much further? I'm on LinkedIn also. Mm-hmm. But that's... Um, you know, that's kind of my presence, mm-hmm. but my developing my social media skills, yeah. whatever they are, is is a direct reflection on you, Vanessa. Oh. So you get all the credit oh. for that. Oh. Absolutely. Stop. I just, I'm very happy to see her. Like, every day, I'm, like, she's here. <laughs> present. Hi, you know, present with the here. Cool. Move on so to the next thing. Yeah. But it's really, it's, the group has helped me a lot. As I said, develop relationships. You know, it's, it's nice to say that, hey, I know this one, I know that one, you know, I know the other one. I've gotten some business through the group, but it's not, it's definitely not about the money. It's it's much more the relationships that I'm establishing. Um, and people just, will bring you to people. How has yes. that, and because here's the thing, I, I, people are still find uh, find it very difficult to build, to build business with that kind of mental, uh-huh. mentality, with that mindset. How much more, um, I, I would say beneficial is to build business in that way than that hard cold selling showing up oh, to a group infinitely you know. infinitely better this way i mean i like the fact that we're establishing things various people have approached me in the group and said hey i can really use your services one actually does yeah but i feel like i'm building relationships you know i've spoken to several others they had questions about QuickBooks. I got them some information, not because I expected to hand them an invoice with it, yeah. but because you want to help people Absolutely. that you're getting to know. They're going to and know I you think, as the specialist, too. That's right. important. Yeah. You know, you want to be a go-to person, yeah. and that's what this enables you to start to become. Uh-huh. I think that these relationships are invaluable. The, the cold sell, first of all, I hate it. You know, I always said the reason I, it took me years to decide to start my own business, I said, I know I can do the technical aspects of yeah. it. I know how to create a financial statement. I've been doing it since, you know, for 25 plus years. Right now. I know how to do payroll. I know how to do spreadsheets. Those aren't issues for me. I have a lot of HR background. Mm-hmm. Can help with that. I've helped people put together manuals. But it's how do I get the clients? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I would have to say I view this as, an easier way. It's a more familiar way. As more people know me, they'll come to me. And, 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 to and, me. and the, re- and and the thing is, too. and the thing is, at the end of the day, it's like now that we've gotten to know each other through the group, to the relationships that we've built, if somebody were to ask me, who do you know in accounting? The first person that I'm going to recommend is you. I would but, but really, because but that's what it's all about. That's You're what the it's first about. one that comes because to our I, mind. And, you know, I take my, my word very seriously. Seriously, as I'm sure everybody who's in business does and should, um, and your word is your currency, you know. And if you were going to recommend somebody, you're going to recommend somebody that you know, right? And that you know well. And and who better to just you know vet the group, 
the group that you belong to and be like, okay, who in this group can support this person? Yep. Uh, so I, I've I had love clients that, that yeah. you know had uh, issues with short sales. The first person that came to my mind always was Debbie Weiss. Yeah. Whether she gave free advice or they used her down the right. line, yeah. she's the specialist. It's, I don't even nothing else crosses my mind if somebody says real estate, yeah, Debbie. Right. Yeah. So and and you have the same with everybody in the group now. I think that's the most important. Yeah. You have to Absolutely. be viewed as the specialist first. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, really really lovely. Lovely. I'm really grateful that um, I, you know that you find the benefit of being in the group. Um, that you understand that definitely. You know when you approach business from from a from a standpoint of, ser- of being of service more than just you know what is in it what, what's in it what's for in me, it for me. Uh, there's definitely more benefits in the end mm-hmm. than not. So. Especially in the service business, like I mean, you have to approach it that yeah. way. You're yeah. never going to get any place yeah. if you don't. Because it's built on trust. Especially when you're doing money and books and yeah, finance. Right. If people don't trust. trust us, they don't talk to us. But you it, know, it doesn't matter what company you're with, but it matters what person you are. Yeah. You know, the first one clue I always get if I'm doing somebody's something silly like their sales tax returns. But if they'll give me their sign on and passwords mm-hmm. and they'll tell me what their account number is so that I can, you know, checking account or credit card number, yeah. that says a lot that you're mm-hmm. trusting and trusting me to be able to do this. I said it to somebody this morning and she's like, why wouldn't I? It makes my life easier. If you right. do it, then if I do it. Yeah. Yes, but that's showing that you have trust and faith in me. Yeah. So thank you very much. Yeah. Awesome. But it's yeah. nice to get that reinforcement that that level of trust with individuals because as I said prior to doing this my main experience was dealing with you know on a corporate level and where your so client different. is yeah. so much different yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's not yeah. you it's the company yeah. it's the company is everything and I always took it very seriously and I always treated the company as if it was my own right you know I was controller for years and I always guarded the funds and was very cognizant of of watching the bottom line and look yeah. what they give you Right. Instead of a big old piece of the company, you get a layoff. Hey, that's, <laughs> that's what I love about, about corporate America. Yes, okay. It's wonderful, you know. Exactly. But you know what? You live through it. Absolutely. Everybody does. Well, it and happened for now, a reason. It, this would you wouldn't be here now. So they did you a damn favor. Absolutely. In my did. opinion, I like I like the fact that I have control of my life. I absolutely. mean, that's the part about being an entrepreneur. There are days, yeah, where I'm working eleven o'clock at night, yeah. but. If I decide I want to have a nail appointment one day, I do it. Right, I don't have anybody to say, like, buy for a dresser. Today, yes. I have a sick kid at home. And it was like, listen, I could re- rearrange my day to just fit, you know, the pri- he's the priority. He's the priority. There's nothing that you could do, you know. And I, I, that's the beauty of entrepreneurship as well. I'm just really glad that you find the benefit that... Um, you've we've grown to love you uh because that's what happens yeah i think that that's what happens you know when you just build that mutual trust that that relationship that just you know um and i you know we love having you as a part of our community it's wonderful thank you it's mutual and i think it's wonderful that you're unfortunately i'll be in florida then but the holiday party that you're including spouses because i don't know how much he would have appreciated going but i would have dragged my husband along anyway and just, you know, it's one thing for me to talk about Lynette and Vanessa, but it's another, you know, I'm not going to be... Who are these two talk- psychos that you keep <laughs> say, talking exactly. about? You're spending money, you're visiting them? What radio? I, I, I'll see paper. you tonight whenever I get home and... Uh, well, that's I'm said I have to go. <laughs> Lynette said I have to go, so I'm going. Yeah. And, you know, but I think it's great that people's spouses can be able to share in this. Absolutely. And give them an appreciation for... For the work that what, you're the doing. The work that you're doing, yeah. for sure. I mean, I happen to have a very, very supportive spouse. You yeah. know, I get down on the dumps about things, and he's right there, but and he helps of, me up. You have but a, a benefit, because yes, a lot are a not. A lot yeah. are not, and I think they need to appreciate a little more yeah. what their wives are really putting into this. Aside yeah. from being their wife and a mommy, they're also being a businesswoman, yeah. and that's a very important thing that people kind of say, well, maybe if my... My business couldn't, it really needs to be more of a success. Yeah. I need to know I'm making it. And well, I'm thinking corporate, you need to care. put more of, you need to put more of yourself in. Absolutely. And part of that is having spousal support. Yeah. Because if they don't support you, it's a it's losing just, battle. It's, it's a hard. losing battle. It, it, and it, it really is. Sure. It really sure. is. Yeah. Absolutely. Sure. You guys do a great job, by Thank the way. You. I mean, I know how hard you worked on the, how hard you worked on the conference. We got constant updates and emails and you it's just when I thought we it. rested. We have the holiday party. We have next year. We have the retreat. You have to mention the retreat. Oh, the really retreat. Quick. Oh, my gosh. The retreat. The retreat is exciting. 
the retreat's going to be very exciting. But I am going to retreat. I'm going to sit in the jacuzzi and relax in between and and chill out. I'm not, I'm not going to let you do that. But oh okay. God, Marcy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I need you're a gonna, break. You're going to be working. So no, no. I, that's when you say, "Hubby, it's time to take me away. Just get me away. I, I need to get away. Get me away I'm from already, that psycho." <laughs> I'm already booking. A, I'm going to book a cruise. You know, May. I actually my favorite posted. Vacations. I posted I this more today. I posted on our Facebook page. You should actually look at. 23 things that women need to stop doing right now and one of them is saying to themselves that they're crazy for aspiring to you know want and do these really things you really need to read it's a really great article that was posted I kind of skimmed it actually Dixie posted it um, and I have to say you know one of the things is we, we say no to ourselves a lot and I'm you know thinking of the retreat is it's it's really I see it because I used to do that a lot as a, as a, as a, in my high school years in college, it was just encouraged and in work when I, I when I used to, to teach, do a I did, I did many of I them. I did, I did a couple in college. And I have to say, they were just re, like rejuvenating, refreshing, refueling. Um, and it's kind of, it's a, not kind of, it's a gift you give to yourself, uh, to kind of like break, a, to break away from the everyday, uh, madness that we have in our lives you know as mothers as business owners as you know empty nesters but are still doing what we need to do you know for the for the not so empty nesters because they're you know you still take are taking care of them to some level right um forever but forever it's but not you gonna need some end, time, but I don't want it to end you need yeah. some time for yourself and you need some times with 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 girlfriends and like a group of people who know what you're going through and can therefore um and who let you sit in the jacuzzi with a glass of wine i will okay one I go away one night. My girlfriends night. and I go away one weekend a year. That's um, amazing. Yeah. Just us. Yeah. Yeah, and for the last two years, we did it at my house. We yeah. called it a staycation. But you know what? We're not going to do it again because a few of the women, especially the ones with younger kids, yeah. instead of being able to chill out and just relax, have they're running out to take their kids here. I'm running out. You know what? Let your husband no. do it for a week. Go away. Yes. So we need to well, go we're away. We're going again. away because I know that I, I told Lynette, I'm like, I have to like drive like right. at least four That's hours it. away right. so we that I can go, get yeah. away. Well, you know what? We we yeah. found an hour and a half, two hours works. It's enough. Well, yeah. Hershey will <laughs> take us about two and a half. We'll be there yeah. two and a half. Yeah, we well, used to go to Hershey Park every year with the kids. Yeah. Two and a half, three hours. Yep. Yeah, it's but I have to like time. get away so that I can really get absolutely. Away. Yeah, so my you have to let her have time said, in the jacuzzi. Not. I yes. will. And um, I'm older. I need a rest. Tell her to give me a break. Give me a, break. Give give me a break. little bit of a rest. It's getting on here. Getting on. <laughs> oh my nice. gosh. Yeah. If if you see the heels she has on today, you wouldn't yeah. think that. I'm gonna You're show old. everybody my heels show for us, the party. Show us your heels for the party because I want everybody to know I am styling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How's that for the pink part? Five 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 inch heels. You're nuts. Okay. <laughs> okay. So if my legs blouse. broke on the next radio, right? Uh, it was we, the shoes. We we know. You we know, know, know what happened. We know what, we know what happened. We'll try to catch you before you hit the ground. Thank you. Well, no Marcy, thank you so much for coming on thank with us today. Um, we love, like I said, we love having you part, uh, being a part of the community and the group. And I think that our relationship is only going to continue to grow and get stronger and better. And hope we so. hope that we hope that we're serving you. You know, we hope that we're, what we're putting out is beneficial for you uh, on a personal on a level on a business level and um and again together we can only achieve more so absolutely that's, you know that's Sounds the carry on good top. to me <laughs> thank you i want to i want to close you. with my quote because i must have my quote um <laughs> change the way you look at things and the things that you look at change whoa i like it that's my quote of the day. We're going to hope Excellent. to put this into our circular, but a lot of times I find a better one and change my mind by then. <laughs> She's crazy. No, but thank you for having us. Oh, my God, thank you for having us. Thank, thank you, you for, for listening your, to thank us. Thank you for listening. <laughs> thank you for your time. And we will see you next time. Ciao. Bye-bye. we we got to get a better system now for this whole technical thing. So, so what happens now? It goes like you can dance. Say bye, Marcy. Oh my God.